Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm here in Sarasota, Florida on this beautiful chilly weekend to exhibit at the St. Armand Circle Art Festival. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This weekend I'm going to be heading over to Sarasota, Florida to exhibit in the St. Armand Circle Art Festival. In my video last week, someone had asked if I could show the inside of my van, so before I get going over to the show this weekend, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the inside of my art show van. For years, I used a cargo trailer that I pulled behind my vehicle to do art festivals. This worked out great, and a cargo trailer was a low expense for me to get early on in my career. And then a few years ago when I needed to upgrade my tow vehicle, I decided that I would get a cargo van instead. So I got a Ford Transit 250 with an extra high roof and extended cargo area. I bought the van used to save a little money, and it was just an empty shell of a vehicle when I bought it, so I decided to build out the interior of my van myself. The first thing I did, and this is the most important thing that anyone should do when they're getting a cargo van, is I installed a bulkhead at the front of the cargo area right behind the seats. It's really dangerous to be driving around in a van without a bulkhead, and I still see a lot of artists doing this, even though we know artists who have had horrible accidents because they don't have a partition in their van. So if you get one thing out of this video, please, if you don't have a partition in your van already, please put a bulkhead partition in your van. It could prevent a really awful tragedy. This is the side door to my van, and I have bins in here that store my prints. These are great bins that I found. I'll put a link to them in the description of the video if you want to get some just like this. They have a handle and wheels, so they're really easy to get around, and they're super tough and durable. But because they're kind of heavy, I needed to get a ramp so I can easily get them in and out of the van. This is the ramp that I got, and I'm going to put a link to this in the description of the video too, in case you're interested in one. It can hold a lot of weight because it's designed for wheelchairs. I did a really simple build out of the inside of my van. I've seen other artists who have these really beautiful kind of complex build outs in their van and sometimes honestly I'm jealous of them but I wanted to keep the inside of my van super simple and really functional. Towards the back of the van I built this platform so that I have two levels of storage. On top go my large pieces of art on the left side and my pro panels fit nicely on the right side. Underneath the platform I fit my tents and my folded print bins and some other miscellaneous stuff. I'm able to store enough artwork in my van to go on the road for months at a time although of course I always hope that I'm going to sell out at the first show anyway. Anyway, so this was just a really quick overview of what the inside of my van is like. If you want to see a really detailed video of how I built the interior of my van, let me know in the comments section and I'll try and make one of those for you too. So let's get on the road and head over to Sarasota and have a great show this weekend. Okay, so I'm here with my friend and fellow artist, Dale Rogers. Dale is an artist from Massachusetts, and Dale is one of those artists I see on the road all over the country. Dale does these really big metal sculptures, and like I showed you my van earlier in the day. So Dale, why don't you tell us about what you use to transport these sculptures all over the country? Sure, and that's probably the number one question I get at shows, is how do I move the artwork around? And I've got a big truck and trailer. Uh, you get to see a little bit the inside of your van today, which is cool, but we all, all the artists at the shows have these unique little niche setups on how they transport it, and it's super interesting. Uh, meeting up with the artists on the road, you learn different things about how to transport your sculpture and how to see it, and that's always a great thing. But one thing I like about watching these videos, it really gives you an insight to how we live as artists and what we have to go through to get from show to show. And so if you're a patron watching this, it's great. And if you're an artist, you'll learn some tips and tricks. Thanks for sharing with us today, Dale. Where can we see your artwork on social media and your website? Why don't you give Dale us that? DaleRogersStudio.com. But if you just throw Dale Rogers into Google, I've worked hard to get to the top. All right. <laughs> Thanks for sharing with us here in All Sarasota right. this weekend, Dale. Have a good one.